Well, hello there and welcome. We're gonna be doing a little bit of, uh, just a tad bit this morning. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, coyote hunting. Yes, that is right. We're gonna be doing a little bit here on my land for the first time. I'm gonna park the truck here at the very front. And we're probably gonna do, I would say four sits this morning. We'll walk, we'll sit for 20, move, sit for 20. There's no wind this morning. It's pretty dang cold and uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much how I'm gonna start this video. We're gonna try to put down a little furry, furry little thing here on uh, on my ranch. <clears throat> It's a little chilly out here. I was gonna tell you guys, maybe some of you guys don't cod hunt a lot. I'm not gonna say I'm a professional cod hunter or anything, but there's only like a few things you need to worry about. Sun, wind, and like your movement. Right now I'm set up on this hill. Sun's to my back, so when they come in, or anything comes in, it's harder to see looking into the sun clearly. I mean, it's any animal you hunt when you're stalking. And then I use the shadows in my backdrop. I mean, that's just stuff I learned by doing other things in life, but I like this. We got like a hundred acres in front of me. I got a big creek that goes all the way around through here and it's just loaded with trees and it's thick. I got tons of tracks on this backside. But I think we're gonna start here, see if we can draw one out of the front half of this property. We'll come like to literally run on top of this thing too. So we're like 50 yards away. Just, we'll, they're, we'll be fine if they come in. Place. Last place was just my walk in. This one's stacked full of woods. And all those prints I found yesterday were down over there, so. Hey, that didn't pan out too well. A little bit of, little bit of coyote action didn't pan out. Maybe I got here a little too late in the morning. I don't know, it was still like uh, probably 30 when I got here. It is also still hunting, so there is that. On a good note, we have about a billion things still to complete out here on the ranch. I know I've been out here the last couple days, but I mean, there's still, uh, there's still a, a ton to do. I think today we might start on unveiling the, um, uh, what's, that, what's that called, that, that old homestead that's out here. Um, first, I'm gonna go check to see if that beaver has made any progress because the other day I, I, I peeled back his his, uh, his little dam that he made. Maybe we can, maybe we can. Well, we're not gonna do anything about it today, but I just wanna see if he's still hanging around. And the cold never bothered me anyway. I mean, you could tell there's a steady stream. I mean, you could see all the, let me, let me see that real quick. Ow, my knee. You guys know the other day we popped this thing open right here. Still a little bit of his dam left, but look how much look how much flowage is still coming through here. And you see a little look at this, look at this clean grass. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. You see that? That's good. It's nice and green. It's coming out of somewhere, but at least I know it's inside of here. Actually, matter of fact, I can show you guys how much the lake of this uh I keep going the like the lake the ponds actually came down since yesterday. So the water level was all the way, you can actually see it was all the way back up to here. It was all the way back up to here. Look at this. Look how much it's came down right now. That's a foot at least right there, just to that water edge. Just overnight. Like within the last 12 hours, the water has came down a foot off that tiny, tiny, tiny dam. And it's still flowing really well. I don't know if it's showing it on camera that well, but I mean look how fast these little particles are moving through the water. Still coming. Cause there is a creek on the backside, so when we build the uh, the actual lake itself, is that a bone? Oh, it's a reed. 
when we build the actual lake itself, we should have, uh, there's a spring and a creek here, so we should have some fairly clean water, especially if that grass sticks around. Oh no, his has got a key. His is not like mine. God dang, that hurt. Ugh. One of the guys has been working on my, gosh dang. Can you see it in my head or no? Can you see it? Oh yeah. God dang. I just crushed my head. I try to get into that skid steer and there's like a lip, I'd why up. I knock myself out. I can't turn it on. He's got a key. His has got a key and got a push button. Not too wet. Damn, see there is concrete up here. It's making me wonder if it's it's concrete all through this side. Let's go to the back side. I don't I think this there's just sleeping quarters. I'm gonna need some help out here. I'm, I'm gonna need to get some personnel. Like extra hands, because this this is this oh wow. Alright, so crazy enough, I'm I'm I, I don't know why I never really thought about doing this, but I just typed in Gene Autry, as you guys do know, he used to own this place. And I think a tornado came through in early 2000s or something and ripped the entire roof off this thing. And no one's really kept care of it since, but I found a website that has photos from inside of here from 2004. Someone came through here, I guess they did like a Gene Autry. There's a bunch of people wearing like flying a, I don't know. I don't really actually know who, they're like, they look like fans of Gene Autry's came here and did like a tour. Anyway. Um, here's a photo what this place actually used to look like in 2004, which is kind of crazy. So it's dirt in the middle, clearly, and then this is all concrete on the side. And then, let's see here. There's photos from every single angle from inside of these buildings. Like on the back side, it looks like this one is, that all, that, that was all stalls back over there. And there was a thing that was a divider in the middle that had a sliding door, it looked like, which is gone now. It was all made of wood, wasn't, wasn't rock. There was a, a wall between these two, it was all wood, and it had a sliding door, and the back side was all stalls. I'm trying to like grasp what I'm gonna do with this place. Like I have absolutely no idea. I don't wanna, like me ruining and tearing this up. I have no idea, what am I gonna do with it? The only backside that has any potential is back over there. That's pretty cool. I've never seen any of these photos. Which you would assume that if I would've bought this place, I probably would've went to geneautry.com, but I didn't. <laughs> Taught Cam how to use a uh, the old uh, chainsaw. We're gonna try to. I really want to get this cleaned out. I, from the photos, I said that it showed that all this right here was was dirt. So I, if I can come through and get this thing cleaned out, I just need some ideas what I'm gonna do with this thing. I know this may not be entertaining to y'all, but it's it's actual work. I need to get done. I think it's coming this way. Yeah, I think it's coming this way. Yeah, you're good. I'm going back up just a little bit. Oh, he's going for limbs. Okay. It's a safe bet. Oh, yeah, that's good. Going for the big upper limb there. Here it comes. And uh, I am. There she goes. I see why he did that. You got to be kind of careful in here because, I mean, we really are trying to restore this and try to keep everything as, as original as possible. I just wish they wouldn't have allowed it to get like this. So, uh, what we've got a ton actually cleaned out through here. Luckily enough, there's enough space between either side of the, the feeding troughs, as you guys can see over here on, on both sides, um, to where I can actually get skids here back in here. Cam is working on another tree. This is actually going pretty good. I mean, this is, we're probably, there's probably two or three days worth of cleaning in here just to get done, just to make it walkable, where you don't have to worry about getting bit by a snake or something. started going up the wall trying to get out there's cam just chopping a tree down <laughs> it was like this big oh, that's what she said damn this is it's just hung up on vines damn things really hung there you go buddy all right that's good that's good okay we're just we're gonna get this other tree down there's a bunch of pokies on this son of a gun for once make sure there's no snakes up in this son of a gun all right 
seems seems okay. I got snake proof boots on anyway, so. Alright. Now I'm gonna chop this piece off. Alright. So it's already naturally leaning this way. I think you actually might get away with doing just like this. Like this. to do this one real quick so if you want the tree to fall this way cut yourself off a little piece like that but you want to go above it so you want to come in at the top, the top end like this. I'll let you finish it, but see what my line is? You're going to come in and it's going to fall this way. I'm just going to move the... Jeez Louise! Oh, I just took it right to the groin. That limb just went straight into the sacola. It's coming. It's coming. Here it comes. There you go. Tree is down. Tree is down. There we go. There you go, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this thing out of here. All right, so big tree, you gonna kick this thing up just a tad. Open them teeth up, baby. Let's see if we can just kind of, see if we kind of just can grab onto some of these limbs, maybe to drag it out of here just a little bit. Woo. I mean, this is a full blown tree we're trying to rip out of here. Come on, come on. Okay, maybe. Maybe I'm, maybe I can. Yeah, maybe I can get some pressure right there. Oh yeah, we got it there. Oh yeah, we got it. There we go. We got that entire tree out in one try. Well, two tries, two little grins. Back it up here and gonna have to readjust because I got to get on top of our little bird pile. Arms are the best thing ever. Ever. I'm about to knock over to. Oh, I picked up a tree. <laughs> Look at that. Rip the roots right out of the ground. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Well, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. We found out there's, uh, this wasn't, it's not just dirt. Well, it is dirt clearly on top. There's, there's like six inches of dirt or so. Um, I don't know if just over time after the, the roof caved in, I, I don't really know exactly. Well, that can't be because in 2004, when they were walking through here, it was all dirt and grass. So I don't really know what happened, but over time, dirt got in here. I mean, over 80 years, 90 years, whatever, but this is all solid concrete underneath here. This is all concrete. Look at this, the entire thing. It's all concrete. That's making me wonder if all these buildings are fully concreted. They just look like they have dirt on them because they've been sitting here so long. Like all those ones over there where all the trees are. So I, I popped open a few roots through here, popped up. Popped up a few roots, I picked up one tree. If that's the case, this isn't that big of a deal because I'm sitting here thinking, on the, I was, how was I gonna get all these stumps out of here? But if it's just like a six inch layer of dirt, then it's not gonna be that big a deal. Unless on this side, I mean, does it butt up? It's all concrete, but it's right up to the concrete, okay. Is that an angle? Oh my gosh, I know why it's at an angle. The angle of the dangle just hit me. Oh my gosh. So as you guys, <laughs> hey, I just figured something out. This makes sense. Horse comes in here, goes into its little thing. It's standing there up on this little, goes and steps right up. There's a slight trough. That, like I just realized in this, if you guys are looking at it, it kind of slopes down on either side. So if the horse pees, it all runs down through here. There's a damn, there's troughs on either side of this thing for piss. I just realized that I was like, man, it kind of looks like it slopes off a little bit. And that makes sense 
because every single one of the trees is butted against the side where there's going to be more where there's way more dirt finding stuff out look at this unearthing kind of kind of some crazy random stuff here this is awesome this best investment ever it's worth its weight in gold all right avery i'm hiding <laughs> okay, go ahead. Wait, you, you're not supposed to. Okay, look at all the clothes. Where is Avery? Where is she? I can't find her. Oh my gosh, where is she? I, I just can't. Oh, she's not there. Where is she? Gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, there you are. I didn't know that. What are you doing in there? My turn? Okay, go count. So, my I have to scare you. Oh, sorry? Okay. I'm gonna go hide then, okay? Go in here and hide, okay? Okay. Go blue and I'm gonna sit here. All the way, Daddy. All right, all the way, okay. Okay, you're gonna break it, it's fine, it's good. All right, she's running up. Hey, I found all these in a storage unit, the very first one. And uh, some of these are actually given to us as well. I think they're actually in the other room too. I'm glad I'm sitting here. Came to pick them up, I know you guys, I don't know, what, what am I looking at? Daddy, uh, boo! Boo! Oh, oh, you're, oh, I was, I was hiding? I thought I was counting. No, I was counting. Oh, you were counting, but you hid me. That doesn't make any sense. No, I don't want you to scare me, okay? That was good. Okay, I have to say, boo. Do you have to pee? No, I don't. Because you kind of look a little like you might have to. Okay, I'm going to go hide. 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 Okay,